very terror. He felt that. He was afraid. He tipped, I mean, he was angry at times. He tipped over tables, and we go, that was righteous anger. It was still anger. He was still man, all in the flesh. He experienced these things that we did. We said, well, those aren't my issues, Pastor. You know, I deal with some other things. But, you, know, you know, I was on the beach the other day, and Marie and I were talking about body issues and how many people are, are so afraid and so discouraged and, and how it's created this ugliness of, uh, I believe everybody's beautiful, but yet there's this ugly thing. And I started thinking about Jesus. You know, the Bible literally says he was not a good-looking man. He was not a good-looking man. Isaiah 53, he had no beauty or majesty that attracted us to him. Nothing in appearance that we should desire him. Okay? Nothing that we'd go, man, that's, that's guy. I want to follow him. And he's something special. Did you see that Jesus guy? You know, I did a little thing. This is just more for fun. But I did a little thing, and I called 10 women. I text 10 women, and I did a poll, and I said, hey, give me a male celebrity crush because I want to know what women like. Because I promise you, Jesus don't look nothing like him. And I, I, was, I was actually pretty shocked at what I got. Uh, I, I got a Shamar Moore. I, I got a Brad Pitt. I got a George Clooney. I got an Alex McLaughlin. A Jimmy Garoppolo. Um, a Pete Davidson. A uh, Kevin Costner. And uh, I got a Chris Hemworth, but it had to be prefaced this way. Chris Hemworth as Thor. And I'm like, oh, okay, Chris Hemworth as Thor, why? And the response was this. And he is just a giant huck of a man, me. <laughs> what? I, she, I, I, there we go. There we go. There we go. You know, I text, I'm going to say this real quick, and I'll probably get in trouble later, but I text my mother, and I said, do you have a celebrity crush? My mom's in her 70s. Do you have a celebrity crush? She goes, how many do you need? <laughs> I was like, oh, okay. I was kind of shocked, just at the differences of, you know, what we find attractive. Okay? Jesus didn't look like any of that. There was nothing that you would have went, man, that guy's, he's got something. And as, as guys, Corey, we wouldn't have looked at him and went, man, I want to be just like him. I mean, he, he's got it going on. He's a man's man. I don't think so. What drew you to him was his humility, was his grace, was his love, was his difference. So I don't want anyone to, of us to ever say, Jesus doesn't understand me. Or Jesus doesn't know what I'm going through. Or nobody knows what I'm going through. No, Jesus knows exactly what we're going through. 